and taking the mound for your Flaming Otters, Brian Rohan, number 69, who steps in to face off against Junior Ponce. First pitch of the game. Strike one on the inside corner. Fastball down the middle, fouled off. Bravo snags it, throws the first. One up, one down. Quick Masters digs in, calling his shot again. Seems to be one of his trademarks. Bravo with a nice diving catch. Flips to first for the second out. That one is going to be on ESPN 8's top 10 web gems of the week. Strike two. Kane can't get to it. Sneaks through into the into right. One on, two away. Was a well placed pitch, just got all of it. Strike two, oh and two count here to Squint Hale who is all over the Otters in the last game. Ooh, a wicked curve sits Hale down. And the Otters send the rushes down in the first. And we have Isabella Bravo leading off. First pitch swinging lines it right at the second baseman Goodman. One away. Wallace down 0 and 2 quick. Couple foul balls. Laces one into center for a one out single. That'll bring up Werner Gruber batting 600 on the season with an RBI. Gruber drills that one to the gap. But it's hauled in by Hall. Two away. Well hit ball by Gruber, but just couldn't find the gap there. Two away. And a line drive directly at the third baseman, Sacred. And the Otters will strand one. We're heading to the top of the second. Strike one from the pitcher Rohan to Zerwin Blackwell, center fielder. Two in a row. And the count quickly 0-2, Blackwell. Dribbler to third, and he'll run it out, safe at first. Despite the hard charge from the third baseman, just couldn't, couldn't get to that one. Sacred shows bunt on the first pitch. And lines one into right. Two on, no outs. Quickly, Rohan's in a jam here. Back to the pitcher. Over to second. On to first, double play. Runner runs over. Runner moves over to third on the on the play though, but two outs. Quickly turns the inning around. Change up. In slightly inside, but called strike one. That one's going to find center field, and the rushes will take a 1 0 lead.
gets out of the inning, only giving up one run. But the rushes strike first. They are up one nothing here, heading into the bottom of the second. Stefan Oleo digging in. Unlucky number 13, Stefan Oleo. Takes two quick inside pitches. And smashes one on the ground. Gets by the shortstop. He'll hold up at first, though. But a leadoff single brings up Blade Knapp. Takes one down the middle, strike one. He'll move the runner over to second. Back-to-back -back singles and the men on first and second for Janet Green. Green takes a ball inside. Double play ball, though. And that one hurts as Green grounds into the double play, two away, but a man over a third. And Aaron Maddox, hero last game, digs in, fouls a ball to the to the right inside. And drills one, but it's straight at the second baseman, Goodman, who puts him away. And they strand a man on third. The rushes still holding on to a one-nothing lead, heading into the top of the third inning. Lead off single from an 0 2 count, and Quick Masters digs in. Slider at the knees, ball one. Shatters the bat. Slow dribbler. That's outside. Ooh, wicked curve sits him down. Rohan strikes him out. One away. This one's hit high and deep, but foul. One strike here to Scarlett Orozco. Two on, one away. That ball sneaks past the shortstop. Wentz is under it in center field. Two away. The man on first and second. Uh-oh, that one smashed towards the gap. This one could be trouble. Gruber throws to the cutoff man. But it's a two out triple. And the rushes take a three nothing lead. Rohan gets out of the inning, though, with a wicked curve, sits him down. And not before the, stri the rush is straight for two more. It's now 3-0, heading into the bottom of the third. Number 
leadoff single though. Looks to claw the uh, claw the, the lead back. Bravo digs in. Back to back singles, man on first and second. And the Otters look to strike. Ophelia Wallace drives it into left, well hit, but caught by the left fielder. Double play ball, though. That'll end the inning. The rushes kill the threat. Still remains 3-0. Gruber under it, calls it in for for the first out of the inning. Jumping snag by the second baseman. Number 18. Ball outside. Popped up. Green's tracking it. Can't make the diving play. Oof. Man. The rushes are just all over him right now. 4 nothing. Garner comes in, makes the catch, but not before the rushes strike for one more. It's 4 nothing. The Flaming Otters really need to get their bats going here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a good start. A leadoff single. Man on first. No outs. Here comes Oleo up to the plate. Looking to do some damage. Softly hit. Goodman hauls it in with a jumping catch. Make it two on, one away. Janet Green digging in. Strike one, well in front of that one. That's down. Low for ball one. Ball outside. Ball two. Green with a good eye so far. Cranks one, but foul down the down the left field line. Uh-oh, and that's going to be trouble. He grounds to the shortstop. He turns the double play. The rushes get out of another jam. He can't win baseball games without scoring any runs. And the Otters cannot get the bats going today. Rohan, three pitches, sits down the leadoff batter. That's his fourth K on the day. One away here in the top of the fifth. Ball high. Slider high. Call the ball. 
low heat for strike two. The wicked curve fouled off here. Bravo grabs it on one hop, throws it over to first. One or two away. Green with a diving attempt at a stop. The ball will sneak pass into left field. One on with two outs. And Dennis Sacred coming to the plate. Bravo grabs it, flips it to second. Kane makes the catch. And that will end the threat. Heading to the bottom of the fifth. The Otters trail by four. Aaron Maddox up at the plate. Turns on one, smashes it straight past the pitcher. Another leadoff single for the Otters. You can seem to get men on, but can't get them across. Double play ball, hit by Kane to the shortstop, but he runs it out. Only one out turned on the double play ball there. Kane stuck, caught stealing well in advance. Not sure what he was thinking on that one. And that's a bit of a shame. Ball smashed up the middle into the gap. A double for the Otters, and they've got their first man in scoring position of the inning. Smash hit, but Ponce flashes a glove out, snags it, and the Otters go down for the inning. Still trailing by four, heading into the top of the sixth. Ball head on the ground to Green, who snags it, flips to Aleo. One away here in the top of the sixth inning. Oleo tries to make a dive for that one. Can't call it in. That one will drop into right field. One man on, one away. Oh, that one just drops fair. Play at the plate, and he'll be safe. Five nothing rushes. They add another one on a double down the line. Another one away. Five nothing rushes lead. The Otters really got to get the bats going. They're not making it easy on their pitching here. Flubbed off the end of the glove there by the third baseman. They can't be making errors like this right now. Oof. Just drops foul. Rohan gets out of the inning. But the rushes hit for two more. They lead 6-0. Bit of a drubbing here at the home park for the Otters. Once again, they've got the leadoff man on. Let's see if they can do something with it this time. Zane Garner standing in. And he smashes that one. And that's going to be extra bases. He 
Kentucky slides into second with a double. Two men in scoring position for Oleo comes up to bat. Uh, an error by the shortstop slides through his, his legs. Everybody's safe. And the Otters t uh, claw a run back. It's now 6-1. to one. Trouble, double play ball. They only can turn one, though. And another run sneaks in. It's 6-2. They're making a little bit of a game of it here. Janet Green digs in. Having a bit of a rough start to the season. But that one's going to drop in. Oh, he's gunned out at second, though. Trying to stretch it into a double, but the man will move across to third. Maddox skies one to center field, but it will be hauled in by Blackwell. That'll end the threat. The Otters get two, though. And claw it back. A four-run lead for the rushes, six to two. Ninety-one mile an hour heat. Rohan blows it by him for another K. That's six on the evening. Grounder to Bravo, throws it over to first, that's two down. Fly out to the left fielder, Garner hauls it in. Three up, three down on the Otters. We head into the seventh inning stretch, trail by four. The rush is up 6-2 with Ronan Kane coming to the plate. Now that is the second baseman, number 43. Number 43. Another leadoff single for the Otters. It's got to be the fourth or fifth leadoff man they've had on today. Bravo takes one right down the middle. Laces it at the first baseman who quickly turns two. Oof, looking, looking rough for the Otters. Masters snags it. First pitch swinging. And a quick seventh inning for the Otters. Got to imagine we'll be going to the bullpen here. Ibrahim Drapes will be called in to pitch here. Pitching here against Chase Fleming. Now Drapes a bit of a specialist when it comes to pitching against same-handed batters. Doesn't have the quite the repertoire some of the other pitchers here on the Otter staff have, but... Manages to get the first out of the inning. Quick ground out. Three pitches. Strike one to Matthew Holland. Who then turns on this. The 0 1 pitch smashes it up the middle for a one out single. Oh, Aleo drops the ball on the double play. Only manages to turn one. Two away, man on first. Junior Ponce digging in. First pitch looking, strike one. Fouls the second pitch off, strike two. Heat inside, 95 mile an hour fastball. Ponce sits down. 
And the Otters will be coming up in the bottom of the eighth, down by four, looking for a bit of a rally here. Couple substitutions here. Chase Fleming enter, leaves the game, being replaced by Jared Richmond. Now at catcher. No, inside. Gruber takes the first pitch looking. And then smashes the the second pitch to the left field. Once again, the Otters have a, a leadoff man on. Strike at the knee, Zane Garner. Cracks another one up the middle, two men on. And the Otters might have something going here in the bottom of the eighth. Oleo digs in. Takes the first pitch, a 77 mile an hour curveball. No, that's inside. Some off speed stuff inside. Oleo cracks one. Ooh, and the man on third almost almost heads home. Thinks better if it heads back. Nap digs in high pressure situation here. Base is loaded. Inside. Nobody out here in the bottom of the eighth. And he cracks one up the middle. That's going to be... Oh, crap. God damn it. Tried to, I tried to get cheeky with that. Oh, well. 6-4. Drop. Drop. Go to, go to, go to. Woo. Otters making a comeback. They got another man in scoring position. Aaron Maddox, the hero last game. Not going to be the hero this one, though. Flubs it to the shortstop. Six four. We head to the top of the ninth. And Mateo Kiki will come in trying to hold the hold the rushes here. Kiki sits the first batter down in the inning. Strikes him out. One out. Ball inside. Just misses the outside corner. Ball two. Catches the high outside corner. Strike one. Two and one count to Scarlett Araska. Strike two. Two and two. Ooh, just misses the inside corner. Kiki is not happy with the ump's call there. Full count. Fair ball down the line. This is going to be trouble. Gruber gets it into the cutoff, man, but that's a one-out double. Kiki has to be upset with the ump that he didn't get that strike call. Oh, and the rushes put the nail in the coffin. Kiki leaves one high, a 438-foot blast from uh, from Hale. And they take an 8-4 lead. Kiki can't believe that one. He's going to want that pitch back. And it looks like the rushes are going to take out the otters here. Tried to make a game of it, but looks like the comeback's going to be quashed. Yeah. 
Bravo hunts it over to first, but the damage has already been done. A two-run shot by Hale. Eight four rushes. And the Otters have three outs to try and score four runs. For about the seventh time tonight, though, they will put a leadoff man on first. And Bravo steps in trying to score a couple runs here. Put a dent in the rush's lead late. Grounds it to the third baseman, flips the second on to first, double play ball, and the Otters are down to their final out. Wentz digs in. Bloops one over the second baseman's head into, into right. That'll be a um, two-out single here. And Warner Gruber steps in for another chance at it. Gruber crushes that one up the middle. There's a bit of a late rally here. Two on, two outs. Bottom of the ninth. Zane Garner digging in. Takes ball one in the dirt. Strike one on the inside half of the plate. Launches that one. That one's going to find the gap. A two-out double brings the lead to eight to six, and the Aleo or the the Otters are making a, a game of it. Strike one to Stefan Aleo. The home run here ties the game up. Aleo takes a pitch outside, one and one. Inside backs him off the plate, two and one. High ball three. And the batter walks, two on, two out. Green Nickerson steps in, closing pitcher. And Blaine Knapp here has a chance with a home run to win the game. Ball one inside. Takes a pitch looking, strike one. Cracks that one up the middle. That's going to load the bases. Late inning drama here. Janet Green. Can he break out of his slump here and be the hero? Ball one. Good eye. Strike one inside. One and one count. Strike two. One and two. Green flubs a ball to the third baseman who catches it, and the rushes hang on to win 8-6. to six. Janet Green blows it in the clutch in the ninth inning. A tough loss for the Flaming Otters, who had a chance at making a game of it late, but they fall out of the rushes 8-6. to six. Tough game for the, the Flaming Otters who seemed to get men on base almost every inning and just couldn't finish it off. Simmons gets the win, eight and two-thirds two innings pitched, giving up six earned runs and one walk. Rohan takes the loss, 13 hits allowed, six earned runs, six strikeouts. But the real nail in the coffin there is Drapes, who gave up the... Uh, Actually, excuse me, Mateo Kiki giving up the, the two-run shot in the ninth inning. And that one lost the game for the, the Otters. Zane Garner for the Otters gets the number one star of the game. Two doubles, two RBIs, two runs. Matthew Holland with a triple, an RBI, and two runs scored. Gets the second star. And Bladen out. Four for five with three RBIs from your Otters gets the third star of the game. Tough loss for the Otters there as they fall one to one and one game and a half back of the Bowman in the viewer division standings. Let's see what it, the rest of the league does on the day. Bowman taking on the Swordfish. A drubbing at the hands of the Swordfish who went 15 to two. The Razzles taking on the Cobras. The Cobras win 4-1. to one. 
Bards versus the Hares. The Bards take it 7 to 1 final. Protectors versus the Icebirds. The Icebirds sneak a 4 3 win. Bionics versus the Philosophers. 4 2 win for the Bionics. The Norsemen and the Rushes. 3 2 the Rushes. Advance to 2 1 on the season. The Razzles taking on the Logmen. Win by a score of 7 4. And the Feeders win over the Maxbills 2 0. Swordfish versus the Bards. Bards teeing off on them, winning by a score of 13 to 3. And your standings. After two games played by your Flaming Otters, the Waxbills lead in the subscriber division over the Rushes. Uh, both at 2 and 1 records. The Otters still leading your viewer division 1 and 1, 500 record over the Bowmen. The Swordfish and the Hares chasing. The Bards 3-0, Bionics 2-0, and the Icebergs 2-0 in the Lurker Division, a powerhouse division being formed there over in the Bible Thump Conference. And the Follower Division being led by the Cobras and the Logmen, both at 1-1. One one, the Protectors and Philosophers have yet to find a win this season. Alright. Your next matchup for your Flaming Otters. Finishing out the homestand, the three-game homestand here against the Feeders, who are 1-1. One one. They're currently being led by uh, their left fielder, De Leon, with a 375 average. Looks like they're struggling a little bit to score some runs. Check it out here, see how the team's developing. So we, let's see here. We got Zane Garner who won an arm wrestling competition over the weekend, improving his arm strength by two 